Hello, welcome back to The Road to Episode 8, my ongoing series where I chart the road to the release of Star Wars Episode 8, The Last Jedi, on the 15th of December, 2017. Kind of been slacking on these videos, but also I've been incredibly busy with other projects, and I kind of feel like my heart isn't in this series as much as it was The Road to Episode 7. And that is kind of to be expected. Uh, I'm super excited for The Last Jedi, but that kind of intrigue of the unknown isn't quite there anymore. But I'm still super excited, and there's been a a fair bit of news going on lately in the world of Star Wars. Some of which I would have loved to have got to, but just didn't have the time. So we've had more articles, we've had a, a big kind of cover story on Empire Magazine with some really cool um, images on the cover, but also some new images that they've released and, you know, just cool things, nothing revelatory or anything like that. We've had Force Friday 2, the second big merchandise push. Merchandising, merchandising, the kids love this one. And there's been toys that have come out, there has been the the information on certain bits and pieces about The Last Jedi, like uh, Supreme Leader Snoke, we've gotten a, a much closer look at him in some of the toys and promotional materials for The Last Jedi, which is really interesting to see his robe and things like that, and his ship, which is apparently this 60 kilometer wide monstrosity of a, uh, of a ship. So it'll be intriguing to see that on screen, apparently it's so much bigger than any of the Star Destroyers we've seen in Star Wars films to date. Um, we've seen all sorts of bits and pieces like that with the, the toys, but nothing to me that really screamed, ah, I need to go and make a video, you know? Uh, the Empire Magazine interviews were interesting to read too, but again, nothing too revelatory. Ryan Johnson, the director, talked about how if The Force Awakens was a movie about Luke Skywalker, The Last Jedi is Luke Skywalker's film, and it just thrilled me to hear that, it really did. And I, I mean, that is the case, and he's gone on record many times now saying, The Last Jedi is Luke Skywalker. It's in the opening crawl of Episode 7. Uh, also, the big kind of news that dropped like a week ago, or less than a week, was that the director for Episode 9, Colin Trevorrow, director of Book of Henry and Jurassic World, has been dropped from directing Episode 9. And I couldn't be more relieved. Uh, I thought Jurassic World was a good film. I enjoyed it quite a bit, but it wasn't a great film. It had its weaknesses, and people were like, well, it was the writing, it was the writing. I don't know. I don't know what it was, but I, I just was not that confident in him directing episode 9. And then there's people going, oh, but why are we praising a guy losing his job? And it's like, well, obviously it was for a reason. And we're also getting people joking, saying like, oh, Lucasfilm, they don't know what they're doing. They got directors, they're dropping them left and right. And it's like... Well, I guess the Han Solo thing was a pretty big misstep if they had been filming for months. But in this case with Colin Trevorrow, it's years before the film's even coming out. Uh, or I suppose they should be ramping up production fairly soon, with the next six to nine months, but still. And with Josh Trank, it was far before any film was coming into play. So they're doing what they can to clearly find the directors that they feel are going to work for them. Though, you could say, you know, you should have known back when you hired him, but these things happen with creative things, and what your opinion is, I don't know, but for me, Force Awakens, loved it. Rogue One, loved it. They're doing pretty good so far, for me personally, so I'm not worried. Uh, but I have no idea who's going to step into that director chair for episode 9. Everyone has been saying, get Ryan Johnson back. I was saying, get Ryan Johnson back. I was like, come on, Ryan, let, bring him back for, for this. And then people were tweeting me saying, but you don't even know if Ryan can make a good Star Wars movie yet. I was like, yeah, I know, but I, I trust Ryan. I have faith in Ryan Johnson. One of my favorite directors working today, from movies to Breaking Bad, uh, I, I think he's going to do a great job, or has done a great job. But, um, you know, obviously time will tell. But from everything that I've seen from people who worked on the movie, like, they're extra kind of happy with the stuff that Ryan has been doing. Apparently, it, it's gone down very well. And also, as of right now, Apparently, the film's done. Uh, Ryan was in uh, Tokyo uh, promoting the film, and he said that, yeah, it, it's pretty much finished. Now Now we wait. So the movie is done months ahead of schedule. Uh, so I could easily see why they would want to bring Ryan back. But in that same uh, conference uh, in Tokyo, he was asked by episode 9, and he said, I've got no plans, basically. He didn't say it that kind of with that sense of finality, but he did say that uh, I've just been focusing on The Last Jedi, getting that movie and getting out to people. Uh, I was never in the conversation for episode 9. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing who takes over, and I'm looking forward to being an audience member again and seeing what someone else comes up with. So I think that's fair. Um, you know, with making a movie, especially that big, it's, it's like a marriage. You need to be in love with it for a very long time. So 
it's all, all well and good saying, well, just do another one. It's Star Wars, for God's sake. But hey, he's directed a Star Wars movie now. He's written and directed a Star Wars movie, something that only one other man has done, and that's George Lucas. Uh, that's pretty cool. You know, I, I respect his decision if if he has been approached to say, you know what, I, I've done my Star Wars movie, and, uh, and good luck with the rest of it, you know, uh, as much as I love him. So I have no idea who's going to take over. Absolutely no idea whatsoever. I'm not even going to try and fantasy cast this because I just I, I don't know who. I really don't. I'm sure they'll they'll find someone good. I hope they'll find someone good. Uh, you know, we'll see. Uh, so there you go. That's it. There's a few more things to talk about, and I'll, I'll get into that in future videos, like the Obi Wan movie that's kind of been quasi confirmed. Um, but that's kind of the big stuff. The Episode Nine director Colin Trevorrow being dropped, and just more information coming out slowly. Apparently, the next trailer will be in October. Looking forward to that, I'll react to it and so on. But as I said, I don't feel like my heart is fully in this series as much as it was episode 7, but it would be uh, superficial of me to try and force myself into seeming like this was as, as exciting as episode 7. But the excitement level is still pretty big, don't get me wrong. I'll ramp up more the closer to release the film comes. Uh, and there's been all sorts of other stuff like the books and stuff which I kind of got into with the, the build up to the release of episode 7, like the books The Journey to the Force Awakens, I was reading those, but I'm just not feeling it right now, so there's lots of cool stuff coming out, book-wise, book comic-wise, and I just really haven't got the time for it, nor the passion for it right now. All eyes are on December, uh, and again, there's stuff before that that's kind of keeping me kind of preoccupied, like Blade Runner in October, and Thor, you know, so there's some, some really cool big blockbusters coming out, and once those are kind of out the window, it's like, the Last Jedi, and yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. Uh, I hope, anyway, you know, again, not to be too presumptuous, but yeah, I have faith in Ryan, and I can't wait to see the film, and uh, yeah, so there we go, that's kind of my brief update. Well, shit, I had to add this amendment to the video, because I, I filmed what you just saw, or part of what you're already seeing, I don't know where I'm going to slot this in, a couple of days ago, and it would be silly of me to post that video, given the fact that, for me, right now, about three minutes ago, they just announced the director of episode 9. A lot of people were saying, oh, they're going to wait, you know, until next year, until episode 8 is done with before they announce a director of episode 9 and not have all the focus on another movie. But hey, they signed the deal, they got it ready, and they announced it. The director and writer of episode 9 will be, and you already know, of course, J.J. Abrams. <sighs> I mean, I thought we were dodging a bullet with, with Colin Trevorrow being um, released from the project, but I mean... <sighs> At least we're going to get a good episode 8. I mean, it, it's really worrying because I know that episode 9 is, is just going to basically be Return of the Jedi. It's going to be another soft reboot. It's going to be another remake. Uh, it's going to be filled to the brim with Mary Sue's. And, you know, we all know what a terrible job J.J. did with The Force Awakens. And, of course, I, I'm kidding. And I really hope that all the J.J. haters are up in arms right now. Because, uh, you know, the, the amount of flack that The Force Awakens get for some bizarre reason uh, is going to be brought all back up again and dredged back up again I'm sure we're going to get the the big analysis videos you know it's 233 million reasons why The Force Awakens is a terrible movie and why episode 9 is going to suck I personally couldn't be happier about this I didn't even really consider this to be honest with you and I think it's really cool it, it gives the trilogy a nice symmetry a palindromic symmetry where JJ brings us back into this world and JJ will take us out of it again as far as this main core Skywalker saga story goes and there's the nice handoff to Ryan and then the hand back from Ryan to JJ I, I'm really excited about this I think it's a great move uh, I, I think he did fantastic with The Force Awakens so how can I argue with that track, track record uh, I'm really excited about it so there we go uh, not much more to add but I had to add this into the video uh, and now change the title of the video to Episode 9 Director Announced, I suppose. But there you go. J.J. Abrams, very cool. I'm happy about it. And uh, I'm very confident uh, that he'll deliver a great film and a great closer to the trilogy, which I couldn't really say with great confidence with Colin Trevorrow. Also interesting that he's writing it too. I wonder if he'll try and get Lawrence Kasdan out of uh, Star Wars Retirement to help him write the script the same way he did with The, with the Force Awakens. I don't know. Anyway, that's it. Leave your thoughts down below, and I'll see you in the next one.